What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a good day. We have a little present to play with today. Um, and if you've been around the channel a while, you will know that this vehicle looks kind of familiar on the inside. This, what we're sitting in today, is a 2019 Toyota 86 manual transmission. And the reason it looks familiar is, if you've been around a while, like I said, I had a 2016 Scion FRS. The difference is the 2016 Scion FRS was an automatic. This here is a six-speed manual. So that will be the comparison we do with this vehicle. We'll be with my old car. What's more fun, the automatic or the manual? I think we already know the answer, but we're still gonna do it and we're still gonna figure out um, how far the fun level is different from each other. And what I mean by that is I had a great time with my Scion FRS automatic, but how much fun will this be? How much more fun will it be in a manual? So that is what we're gonna do this week with this car. Uh, thank you to Toyota for hooking me up. Uh, this is a beautiful car. We will do a walk around of this vehicle tomorrow. Today, we will do a um, first drive impressions. The vehicle just got here. So I wanna take it for a ride. I want you to be there with me for the first ride. Um, haven't driven a manual in about eight years, so hopefully I don't embarrass myself on camera, but we're gonna take it down the road and see how it is and we'll talk about it. But I already know from owning one of these things, they're a lot of fun to drive and they're really good with cornering, handling. For a 200 horsepower car, it's quite fast. Um, they're small, they're small, that's why they're so fast, but uh, dude, I'm, I'm very excited to get this car on the road and give it a whirl. We just started it up. This one has push button start, it's a GT, so it's kind of the step up. Um, in the Scion FRS world back in the day, you had to have a special edition, a release series to get this kind of stuff in it. Uh, this obviously shares the same exact platform with the Subaru BRZ. So it's the same vehicle pretty much. I'm just glad the Toyota version has some options in it this time because this is a little bit nicer than the one I owned. Don't get me wrong, this thing is identical to the FRS uh, minus some badges here and there. Um, you know. Temperature control is a little bit more high end. It's push button start. Oh yeah, and it's a manual. So I'm gonna take this thing on the road, stop rambling, very excited, get this out there and start uh, slinging some gears. So stay tuned. install on my first shift but on uh, second gear it was a little funny it was a little bumpy yeah it's still a lot of fun to drive a manual transmission car man I do miss it it's probably gonna make me want to buy it uh, that's that's kind of the joke I have going on with uh, my wife and parents is you're gonna put me behind the wheel of a manual transmission car for the first time in like eight years I'm gonna want to buy it you know um, but yeah, it's a good time. It's a fun little car. This is a perfect car to learn on. If you're somebody, I can tell you that from the five seconds I've driven it, if you're somebody who is new to manuals and you're afraid of manuals, a lot of people are afraid of manuals. Nothing to be afraid of, you just gotta relax. After a couple times of stalling out and going up and down roads and shifting through gears, you'll be fine. Just take it easy, take your time. You'll love it, trust me. Once you get good at it, it, it's, it's, it's second nature once you get good at it, but um, it's not one of those things you don't want to try. You definitely want to get behind the wheel of a manual. Don't get behind the wheel once and then give up. Keep going out there with it. Eventually, you'll get the timing right with coming off the clutch, finding the catch point. I call it the catch point, and that is when you lift your foot off the clutch a little bit, and you'll start to feel the car roll. It just rolls a little. You'll feel the tension. You'll feel the vehicle catching. And then you put your foot a little bit on the gas and just exchange and go from there. Uh, once you're in and out of first gear, you're good. You're going to be good to go. And you're going to get good at it. And you're going to love it. And then you're going to write me and say, Mark, you know, I watched that video. Thank you very much for saying that because I really enjoy driving a manual. But here's another great part. This vehicle here in particular is a fun manual to drive. Okay. This is a little great cornering car you take this thing on a track if you're a track guy or something this thing would be a really good time to take on a road course or something like that that the nascar boys and the indy cars uh ride on this thing's fun i can tell you right now the way that the cornering is the way that the handling is on this vehicle you'd have a great great time so definitely get out there try out a manual go somewhere safe uh, don't go into traffic right away. Find a big old parking lot somewhere and just learn to get in and out of first. You want to stop a lot and get yourself in and out of first because this is just way too much fun to not do. So get out there and give it a whirl. Don't be afraid of manuals. So 
I've been driving around a little bit in the car. Just so much fun to drive. It really does make me want a manual. I'm so, and that's going to be the, the whole theme of this vehicle is going to be how much fun it is to drive a manual. And I know a lot of you guys will agree with me. I know some of you Tundra owners that will watch this that talk about wanting a manual in the Tundra. But you know what? I'm just happy Toyota still offers a few, actually. There's the Corolla hatchback. I think the regular Corolla has one as well. Um, but this thing is just a fun little sports car to drive. If you're in the means for something like this, get out there uh, and check it out. Like I said, this one is roughly $31,000 that I'm in right now, but you can also go and get uh, one for about twenty six dollars There's one roughly twenty six dollars That's kind of your base model. You don't get push button start. Uh, you don't get the climate control and things like that. But you know what? If you want a little fun car to uh, you know buzz around the streets with, hit, shifting the gears and all the fun stuff that you do with cars like this, go check it out. Also, there are used ones out there. Subaru built this motor. Okay, Toyota built the fuel. I think it was the fuel system for this car. So they kind of did the partnership with it. But Subarus are reliable. So go check it out and uh, get yourself one of these sweet cars. All right, guys, there she is behind us. Beautiful car. Like I said, we'll do a full walk around tomorrow on the vehicle, but so far, so good. Fun little drive, uh, first impressions drive. I had a good time. Um, probably going to take it out and start uh, driving around a little bit. It's good to have a manual. Want to enjoy my week with it for sure. But just a quick look, like I said, tomorrow's the actual walk around, but she looks good. Tundra looks good too. Let's put a manual in the Tundra. That would be a lot of fun. But there she is. So let me know what you think about the car. Do you like manual transmissions? I want to know how many of my viewers actually know how to drive a manual. So comment below. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34. TundraDude34 gmail.com. You guys have a good day.